Welcome back to your four to five. All right, this story is not one that you see every day over the weekend. A couple welcomed their fourth child, but not in a hospital. They did it in the comfort of their own home. WFMY News 2's Jalen Gilkey caught up with the stray horns. Jalen, you have to tell us what this experience was like for them. It was an experience unlike any other in this pregnancy. Well, this wasn't the first time at the rodeo for McKenzie and Jansen Jansen Strayhorn with three children already. The Strayhorns were expecting their baby boy to come on come on the 28th of this month. However, baby Conker, he had a plan of his own. So all I remember is just falling asleep, coming back tired from sitting in the hospital with her all night that prior night and waking up to my mom coming through the door and I'm hearing her voice seem like just for a few seconds and then they yelling, yelling at me, Jensen, Jensen, the baby, the baby. I'm like, what? We just got home, what's, what's going on? <laughs> I'm jumping up, I'm running, I'm opening drawers, I'm opening closets. They're like, no, the baby. <laughs> Man, it was crazy. The Strayhorns had just gotten home after a long night of what the hospital deemed as false alarms. Um, My mother-in-law had just gotten here and within 10 minutes of her being here, I'm pacing back and forth to each bathroom. <laughs> and I'm telling her, I'm in labor. Like, I, these are contractions. I'm in labor. And That's when Miss Denise and her son Jansen jumped into action. I mean, once I seen the baby's head, you know, uh, I knew that we're in this. And, you know, my son, he was... Uh, he was on the other end while I'm on the other end. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, things went as smooth as they could go for someone who had a baby while laying on their bedroom floor. From 930 when we called 911 to 936, my water had broke and the baby was out. <laughs> and the paramedics got here four minutes afterwards. In all, it was just such an amazing, uh, amazing thing. And, and now the entire family, I do have a new title and they say I can use, uh, I can put it on my resume. Now I'm, I'm just not Denise anymore. I'm Dr. Denise. <laughs> <laughs> well, first I'd like to say congratulations to Mackenzie and Jansen and Dr. Denise as she would like to be known as from now on. Also, she shared with me that she's a fan of The Midwife, the show on Netflix, and that's how she learned and knew what to do when the baby came out. Stop it. I'm serious, I, I tell you what, see all that binge watching I've been doing may come in handy. I hope that the baby calls her Dr. Denise instead of grandma, like as a cute little grandparent name. And how perfect that, I mean, you know, I, I, I've never been in labor, uh, <laughs> never had a kid, right? But I hear that it's, it's like the worst pain ever. So how perfect that uh, the birth was, uh, what, six minutes long? Six From minutes. the time that her water broke to the time that the baby was out. I mean, that's, that's short and sweet. Unbelievable. It only took the ambulance 10 minutes to get there, but wow. they had four minutes of <laughs> dead air. <laughs> <laughs> and people say that watching Netflix is uneducational. I beg to differ now after this story, right? It's crazy. It's like, okay, she watched all this and learned all this and said, okay, I might as well try it. We have no really, really no other option at that point. So uh, it's pretty, pretty crazy, pretty remarkable.